The study I would like to present investigated the effect of choline stabilized orthostylistic acid on periodontitis. Periodontitis is a gum disease characterized by inflammation triggered by microorganisms in the periodontal pocket that causes the destruction of the tooth supporting tissues and can lead to tooth loss. On previous research, it was found that CSOSA stimulates bone collagen formation and improves biomarkers of cartilage degradation. It was therefore interesting to investigate the effect of CSOSA on symptoms of periodontitis. Patients with severe generalized periodontitis were included in the study. These patients had at least 14 or more teeth surrounded by at least one site with an attachment loss of six or more than six. 85 patients were randomly allocated to either receive a capsule with the active component CSOSA or a placebo twice daily for six months. At baseline, an initial periodontal examination was performed evaluating the probing pocket depth, gingival recession, bleeding on probing, plaque index, and gingivitis index. After these initial measurements, a full mouth one-stage disinfection treatment was performed. All measurements were repeated after three and six months of treatment. 72 patients completed the study. When all teeth of all patients were included in the analysis, evaluating the effects on pocket depth, gingival recession, and bleeding on probing, we could not find any significant differences between the CSOSA and placebo treatment groups. In a subcategory analysis, we have selected a subgroup of patients with a good dental hygiene having a plaque index of less than four during the follow-up visits. In this subgroup, the pocket depth of the extreme pockets characterized by a pocket depth of 10 millimeter or more were significantly lower after three and six months of treatment with CSOSA compared to placebo. This is illustrated in figure one. Another subcategory analysis, including teeth with only shallow pockets, pocket depths at baseline of three or less, shows that both the pocket depth and bleeding on probing significantly decreased after six months of treatment in the CSOSA group while not in the placebo group. The changes in the pocket depth and bleeding on probing after six months of treatment were significantly different between groups, which is illustrated in figure two and three, showing no change in the placebo group and an improvement in the CSOSA group. The illustrated effects of CSOSA on the shallow pockets and extreme pockets indicate that choline stabilized orthostylistic acid may have a preventive action against the development of periodontitis and associated tooth loss.